Hi, fourth graders. Today is Wednesday, November 25th, and it is our last day of work this week because tomorrow is Thanksgiving. So I'm sure that you're all very, very excited to have a few extra days off and to eat lots of good food and just kind of have fun. I know I'm very excited for Thanksgiving. So today our assignment is a little bit trickier to find, like I explained in yesterday's video because of the mix up on dates and just kind of the hybrid packets that were sent home. So you're actually going to be looking for your modified packet for fourth grade, inclement weather day one. So I had sent this separately and it has quite a bit of stuff in there. It is actually all of the work that you need to do today. So I know that your classroom teacher had sent a bundle that looks similar to this. It has the same work in this little packet as is in this larger one for today. So that's where it's a little bit confusing. So there's going to be double assignments. You obviously don't need to do them twice. Only do them once and if you don't get to the stuff in here that's completely fine. If it's too much and confusing I understand. So if we get this packet out, the one that I had sent, it's probably in your hybrid folder go in here and then the story that we need is right here and it did not copy all of it so you kind of get off easy today we're just going to read the story and do the writing so our story is called the war in space and it has like the little rocket on it and then we're going to just do the writing for it today so the war in space the rebels were fighting the royal guard it was a bad war this was probably the worst battle in 100 years wars used to be fought on the ground people used tanks and guns now life had moved to space so in here the people are living in space the thing is this a realistic story or do you think this one is made up people were setting up colonies and no one could agree on one ruler so colonies like different groups of people where they live um, and they're looking to set up one ruler kind of like how we have the president two groups were fighting with spacecraft the rebels were not happy with the royal guard they thought their leader was evil the rebels were trying to restore good in the galaxy these young fighters did not even remember another type of war. They were all born in space. So they had never lived on Earth. They were all born in space, the rebels. Their lives took place in a large spacecraft. Entire cities could live on them. The spacecraft traveled through the darkness of outer space. It was quiet in space, and things were still, which means they didn't move. It helped people... It helped keep people calm so they could forget about the past. All the survivors wanted to go back to life on Earth, but it was impossible. Earth would never be the same again. As the rebels fought, people followed the news on the screens. They could see which fighter planes were still out to battle and which had come back safe and sound. The rebels were winning. Maybe there was a chance after all. The Royal Guard began to retreat. They flew away from the battle, leaving the rebels and their supporters to celebrate. That battle was a victory. The next step was to take back control of the colonies. The rebels wanted an honest, trusting leader. They were willing to fight to the end to make that happen. So we have the rebels who are trying to find an honest leader who that they can trust, and they're fighting the Royal Guard to see who could get the leader they want. It's kind of interesting. So, the writing for today is think about what life would be like to live in space. What would you miss about living on Earth and why? Now, since there are no questions today, you have to do five sentences. I know that's not what you wanted to hear, but I need you to do five sentences for me. So, what would it be like to live in space? Do you think you would like it? How do you think things would be different? Um, what would you miss about Earth? Because if you live in space, there's not going to be like lakes and mountains and all that fun stuff. 
no hunting if that's what you're into. Um, so what would you like? What would you not like? I need five sentences in, about what you think life would be like in space. If you need help, let me know. Just comment in classroom and I can help you out and we can set up a time to meet. But keep up the great work and have a happy Thanksgiving. Bye.